the uh, I've done some body mods. Got the uh, the rear wind, the back windows here have been blanked out. And both sides. Um, we'll be covering that with vinyl, so I didn't worry about making it super super smooth. But I did spend a lot of time on that, getting those down as smooth as, as possible. Uh, we've got all of our holes in the roof for the ambulance parts and uh, or and or Surfshark parts or Ghostbusters Ecto-1 parts are all filled in uh, we did go ahead and fill in the, the antenna on the front fender um, so we've got that we will paint be painting the inside red uh, we're going to do like a red, a red uh, like a red velvet interior type thing um, speaking of the interior we have deleted most of the Ghostbuster Ecto-1 details that were added in to the interior tub there was a computer here that's gone um, whatever these ringy things were over here those are gone we got rid of all the gauges and whatnot on these two panels here I debated on, on cutting out the jump seats but I think I'm gonna leave those in uh, we got rid of that raised panel that went here it covered like a small section of it so it's now been cut the whole I cut the whole top out and put and capped it that's on on uh, limousines or whatnot that's where the window power window would go up and down I probably won't put the glass in for that because you're just not going to see it anyway. Um, so there's that. Um, I went back and forth. The wheels that come in the kit were really kind of kind of crappy uh, for this for this build. They're uh, basically steely wheels with Baby Moon hubcaps on them, and while they would be fine on a on a street rod or rat rod or something, uh, they just didn't. Didn't fit this build, so I looked around through all my parts and had had was narrowing it down to a couple options. I had a set of uh, 58 Corvette wheels with the wide wide white wall tires and uh, hubcaps with the spinners on it, knockoff spinners that would look good and look period correctish for this car if I wanted to do it uh, off right out of the uh, Coachwork Coach uh, assembly shop um, but they were just a hair too small when you, when you put everything together it, it made it look more like a, ro a, low, uh, a low rider which wasn't bad but not what I was looking for for this build uh, if I was going to build it as a low rider those would be perfect so we narrowed those out I had some uh, Pontiac and Oldsmobile rally wheels that would look would looked okay. Um, uh, Outlaw offered me some of the uh, Cadillac wheels from the uh, from his '49 Merc kit, but again, that was not really the look I was going for. So I'm kind of going to go for a resto resto mod, but not over the top. Uh, Thing, we're not going to put flames or shark's teeth or anything like that on it. So, what it ended up coming down to, I'll just show you here, were the, the wheels from uh, my 2017 or 2016 Camaro. I guess it was 20, 2016 Camaro. Yeah, I think is where these came from. Um, they look good, and just one second, I'll put the uh, Put the body on and let you see what that's going to look like. Okay, so here's how, it's, how she's going to sit, and I'm really liking that look. So it's kind of going to be kind of a resto mod. I, I don't have the brake the brake rotors or anything in there. Um, and actually, on the back one, you're not going to see much of nothing. The bottom bottom third of the wheel, is all you're going to see, and the front ones that fills out the. Uh, I don't have it quite. It'll sit for a little bit further back. I don't have the pins in on the on the chassis. I see. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, 
there we go that's where they're, exactly how they're gonna sit I could uh, drop them down uh, drop them by maybe raise lower the body just a little bit if I wanted to but that that's pretty much where it's gonna sit so it's gonna be nice and low but not not low rider low um, again it's gonna be a resto, mod, a resto mod but still looking factory fresh ish so that's that's what we're going at and uh next step we'll get this get all this stuff into primer and uh move on from there so thank you for watching uh keep keep terry in your in your thoughts and your hearts and your minds forever um i miss you buddy and uh we're going to uh, we'll say good morning, good evening, good night, depending where you are in the world when you watch my video. Um, we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.